my name is Juanita. I'm a dietitian and diabetes educator. I'm going to continue with the nine essential things that you need to know if you have diabetes. Number four is know what the numbers mean. I'm going to start at A for your ABCs of the A1C. And if you've had diabetes for a while, you probably have, are familiar with this. If you're newly diagnosed, this may be a new term for you. What the A1C is, it stands for the hemoglobin A1C, and it gives you an average of all of your blood sugar checks over a two to three month time period. So it's an average of all of your numbers. The target for A1C is usually less than 7%. For some people, the target number may be a different percentage. So it is a good idea to talk to your doctor writer who helps you manage your diabetes as to what your target is. If your A1C is 7%, most of your blood sugar checks are going to be right about 154. It does give you other percentages here as to what your A1C would be if your percentage was higher and what your average blood sugar checks would be if your number was lower. I also like to show people what the A1C might look like. So for instance, if this was your blood and your blood sugars were on the average less than 154 or less than 7%, you notice that the liquid in this jar, it's not sticky or gooey. If your A1C was higher than 8%, your blood might be thicker. And the reason why is there's more sugar molecules or glucose molecules that are attached to your red blood cell. Part of the reason why it's beneficial to have a lower A1C is it actually can help prevent issues inside the blood vessels is that on red blood cells, you have receptor sites that the glucose will attach to. And if you have higher blood sugar readings, more glucose molecules will attach to the red blood cell. So I will show you what that if looks like. So if this was a red blood cell that the person's A1C was less than 7%, this is kind of what it might look like. You still have sugar molecules that are attached to the red blood cell, but there's not a lot of them. Versus if the person's A1C was higher, this is kind of what their red blood cells would look like. There'd be just more sugar molecules that would be attached to red blood cells in the bloodstream. Usually getting the A1C done every three months. If your A1C is in goal range and your blood glucose that you're monitoring at home is in your target ranges. The doc might tell you, hey, let's get your A1C checked every six months. So that is your A1C. Your target usually is going to be less than 7%. Talk to the doctor or practitioner who helps you manage your diabetes to see what is your target number and know what your number is. I wish you good health.